today I'm going to show you how to hem a pair of pants and leave the original stitching intact. I've never seen this before. When I hem pants, this is how I normally do it. I normally cut off what I don't want, leaving an extra inch and a half or so um, longer than I want, and then I can fold it over once, fold it over twice, and then I'll just stitch it by hand using a blind hem stitch or I can stitch it on the machine. But to get this thicker string, um, if you hand stitch it, it doesn't work and most people don't have an industrial machine that would do that. So you lose the hem stitching and they look a little different. Um, so I purchased a pair of, of used pants. Uh, at a second hand store because I'm having some health problems and my weight is fluctuating so much. Um, they were really cute. They're in good condition. They look brand new and they fit so I, I bought them for a couple bucks. Washed them and when I put them on I realized that they had been hemmed but when I looked at them and tried them on in the, the store I didn't notice that because you can see the original stitching still there. But when you look at the inside, well, actually, let's look at the other leg because I've already stitched on that one. So this is what the inside look like. I mean, I was in a hurry and the store was closing when I tried them on, so I didn't look very closely, but this is what the person did. So they cut the hemmed edge off and then just stitched it back on after taking a piece out. So say they cut, you know, needed to hem it that much, they would just cut a half inch down from the length they want it and then cut this off a half inch up and then they would just put the two together and stitch it. Um, obviously they didn't zigzag it because um, it's shredding. So to fix that on this hair, I just zigzagged all the way around and took some scissors and cut off all the extra thread that was coming off. So that's what the inside now looks like. But from the outside, you really can't tell that there was the hem was taken off. You can't tell they were hemmed at all. So um, I was just going to show you on a pair of jeans that I bought that are too long that how to hem it. So what you can do is you can um, put them on and then fold them up to the length where you want them cut so you know where you want them cut. And then you cut a half inch down. Okay, so that's where the length I need them. So then I would come through and I would cut a half inch down from there so that I had enough to sew, to sew on there. So when you turn it, I pinned it down look, so that's what it would look like. It just, when I stitch it, that's that's what it will look like. But I, I, I pinched it there, pinned it there, so that I would know where to, I could cut it. So, if I cut, so let me show you, so this is on me, right? I just folded it underneath as high as I needed to to leave this part down for the hem. So you put the pants on, you fold up as much as you need to, and you pin it as long as you want it that way. So when when I try these on, this is the length I want it with that hem on the bottom. So I thought this would be an easier way to cut it than the other way. So what I would do now is that is where it would need to be cut to be pinned. So then I could just go and cut just above this flap basically. So if I just cut right here, I know that I've already got long enough on the hem on that side and long enough on the hem on this side, because it's pinned up, that I can stitch the entire thing. And if you wanted, you could actually stitch it like this first and then cut this off. So you would stitch along here and then you could cut this excess off right here. Um, or this is the other way you could do it. I think that way would probably be simpler, but you can just go around and cut the hem off at the length you want it. So I cut this off, right? And then you measure to where you want it, and then you cut a half inch down from there. So measure it to where you want it, and then cut it there. So you would cut out the center section that's too long, and then you pin this right sides together, on where you need it to be. So I would just pin it like that and then I'd put it on the sewing machine. Sorry, that light's kind of bright. Maybe if I turn the light off. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Sorry. And then you just stitch it close to the, you know, I'm sorry. 
So you would stitch it like that. And then once you've stitched it all the way around, try it on, make sure it's exactly what you want. And then if it should be fine because now you're going to have this, when you flip it over and it's sewn, it will look like that. Okay? So when that's done, you've tried it on, it's the length you want, and you make sure you didn't make any mistakes, you didn't catch any of the fabric in there, there's no loops or bubbles. Then you go back and you zigzag stitch over the finished product because if you wash it and you don't, that's what you're going to get. And your feet will get caught in it and it will look white and if it folds up because uh, so things can tend to fold up, then you'll have this showing. But when you zigzag it, that's more what you'll get. There's, it won't ra uh, fray sorry, when you wash it. So, um, and then I was just going to show you on the other side, that's why I didn't pin this whole thing and start sewing it, because I wanted to show you if you don't care about this look of him, on this pants, it was worn and it, and it tattered that seam. So actually on these pants, I think I'm just going to go ahead and hem it like I normally would. What you do is you cut it about an inch, inch and a half, uh, longer than the length when you've got it on. So you pin it up about an inch to an inch and a half, and then you fold it over about a half an inch, and you fold it over a half an inch again, and then you pin it like that. On the inside though, well you could do it on the outside, but it's easier on the inside so you can follow the seam that you folded. So I would start on the inside, hold on, it's so hard when I have to do this by myself with one hand. Okay. So, I don't want that caught in there. Get that out of there. So then, once you've got the entire thing pinned, I usually do it just about this width so that I can measure it. And then you just start sewing, not zigzag, you just put it on straight. Um, and I would use the same color fabric as the pants, so a dark blue or black could work. Um, white actually would probably be good too because you can use a pen to fill in the, that. So then you would just, once it's all pinned, you would just stitch it that way or you can hand stitch it. Most of the time when I'm doing hems, I will actually hand stitch it um, just so it's a blind hem, but that's just something I don't have a problem doing while I'm watching a movie or something. So those are several different options of ways you can actually hem a pair of pants, but I really thought this was very creative. They were new, they were in good condition, so that would be the cho the method of choice for pants that you wanted to maintain the, the bottom seam hem on. But because, like I said, this one's already trashed, the hem's already worn out, it won't make any difference on this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it that way, but I wanted to show you how to pin it and sew it so that when you flip it, that's what it will look like. Hopefully that was helpful. Uh, feel free to write me if you have any questions. My blog is thesecretisgratitude.com and you can see more pictures and detailed description on there. If you want to look up this post, just go to the bottom of the home page and type in hem pants in the search box and up will come this post. Thanks.